So you can see right where the camera is pointing right now. This is the Sokola Magomeni right here in Magomeni and you can Bila we we bwana mimi siwezi Bila we we bwana Oh pole Hujambo habari zenu I didn't see you there Karibuni sana karibuni Tanzania Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and make no doubt about it, Tanzania is developing rapidly. A lot of great infrastructure is happening here in this beautiful country. Currently I'm outside the Sokola Magomeni, which is the Sokoni or the market here in Magomeni and you can see it's a beautiful building, beautiful structure which is right behind me. And you'll find all the stuff that you've seen in my previous videos from agricultural produce, from various whole foods, poultry, and a range of different things. But today we're not really going to go inside. We're just going to walk along this high street here and really see some of the developments that have been happening here in Magomeni. So if you're new to the channel, I'll appreciate it if you can consider liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. Karibuni, Tanzania. Before we continue, I want to give a quick shout out to Mami Yasie for recommending me to check out Magomeni. So if you want me to visit various places here in Tanzania, and other places I'll be traveling to always leave a comment in the comment section below in some of the areas you would like to see Karibuni Tanzania so you can see right where the camera is pointing right now this is the Sokola Magomeni right here in Magomeni and you can see it's a very beautiful structure a lot of people come here for shopping and you can get many things here but we're not going to focus on here too much today because I've done a lot of market videos and much of the things you find in those market videos you can find it here at the Magomeni market but you can see the amazing development that has gone into designing and developing this beautiful structure that you can see right now on your screen so let's walk and really explore the place there's there's been a lot of developments that's been happening here in Tanzania and those who are considering visiting and even those in the diaspora it's good for you to actually see what's going on so as you can see right now you can see it's paved roads the sidewalk are beautifully done or the pavements are beautifully done and a lot of work is happening and also even in the real estate sector there has been a lot of uh, building developments going on and we can see two buildings that we're coming up to right now is an example of some of the infrastructural developments that's happening in this beautiful country here in Tanzania. So to get to Magomeni is not uh, Magomeni is not a difficult task at all like especially if you're coming from places like Makumbusho you can get the local Dala Dala for a little as 400 Tanzanian shillings and it can take you to this location if not you can make use of the Uber or Bolt app and you can order a Bajaji a Piki Piki or even a vehicle to take you here for my experience you know, you'll get better deals with Bolt in Tanzania you'll get much better deals with Bolt instead of Uber so just note that point when you decide to visit here I'm really impressed I mean the pavement here is very wide and it's very clean as you can see let me just show you what I'm seeing right now so this is really nice to see I'm liking the vibe so far you know some places where you go a very important factor of course is where you'll be walking you know some people are concerned about you know not walking too close to vehicles on the road but here in Magomeni you can see that we have a very wide pavements here on both sides of the road so it's on this side where I'm walking currently and also on the other side over there so that's great
for those who like using the picky picky the moto bike taxi here well there's a lot in this area as well as you can see while we're walking now here's an example of what I'm saying to the testament in some of the developments that's happening here in Tanzania now this is an apartment building beautifully done very beautifully done as you can see here and it goes it's probably around 10 floors as you can see and also in these apartment buildings what's wonderful about them you also have like a mini supermarket downstairs there's um, a barber as well here in beauty parlor and all of that you can also get various utensils for your kitchen and different things so that's really great so that's this one and we're also coming up to another one right now and it's very close to the Mualimu Memorial House which is down this street here so this is another apartment building and it has a supermarket downstairs and there's also a business like on the first landing and then the rest of the building are apartments And a beautiful thing about Magamani, it's linked to the rapid, the bus rapid transit system. This is the bus terminal here, and that's the blue buses. Okay, those ones is really efficient, very quick. It takes you to various destinations here in the city of Dar es Salaam, and that's the bus station for it right over there. So, if you're thinking about uh, access to certain transport facilities then Magomeni definitely ticks that box and that's an example of the blue bus driving there that's what it looks like for those who haven't seen it before highly efficient system here in the city of Dar es Salaam So we're coming up to another interesting and beautifully done real estate development here in the area. So first you'll obviously see the DCB Commercial Bank. That's what you're seeing right now. So that's the bank right there but right next to it over there these are all new buildings new apartments that have sprung up recently and they're beautifully done so these are all the apartments i'm just giving you a closer look so you get a real idea of what they're like let me zoom in for you and this is in Magomeni guys so I mean so far I'm sure you're seeing I know sometimes on my videos I go to various places now one of the amazing thing about Tanzania it offers the best of both worlds okay so you can have that more slower pace village life on the coast if you really want to some people may not want to experience a more faster pace that you that you might experience in Dar es Salaam you may prefer a more slower pace of life and that is available and you also have the modern structures the modern styles that is happening here in Tanzania is also available for you so that's really nice that a lot of these developments are happening
Yeah, so I just wanted to give you a little insight into some of the developments that's happening. I don't know the prices of these buildings. I'm not a real estate agent. I'm just bringing awareness to some of the developments that's happening in the country. And you're very much free to do further research when you come to Tanzania about some of these places you're seeing on the video. Petrol station is nearby for those who may be driving. This is a gas station in America, I believe you say gas station. In the UK, we know it as petrol station. The only thing I'll say about this road, you have to be very careful with, um, when I say this road, I mean this pavement, you do have the motorbike taxis or the boda bodas or the picky picky that uses the pavement as well. So when you walk on the pavement, do be mindful of them when you're walking. It's another uh, bus terminal. So depending on what you're planning to do when you visit Tanzania, that's one of the things you may consider because these buses from the rapid transit system can get you to downtown, even areas like Kisutu and, uh, and these areas very quickly if you use them. So if you're a person that will be going downtown here in Dar es Salaam a lot then depending on your business you may want to consider being or located in an area like Magomeni for the transportation links so it all depends on what you're doing but it's a lovely area and during the weekend there's also real lovely Tarab music events every Saturday they have here every Saturday and um, you can enjoy some of that real Kiswahili vibe. Now again guys you see what I'm saying those buildings that you're seeing on your right these are all apartments that's been built here in the area I mean this whole road literally go go right right down far down it's various apartments that's coming up so business is booming construction is booming in the in the town it seems the only thing I'll say if you're a person that perhaps like to be surrounded by lush vegetation you like a lot of greenery around you fertile land that surrounds you then these apartments may not fit the bill 
because literally what's happening and what I'm seeing here, there's just a lot of apartments going up. So of course a lot of trees and stuff will have to be cut down to make way for these things in comparison to the village areas. So that's one thing you've got to bear in mind when you visit these areas here. So guys, you see, I've been walking for quite some time now. And you notice I've still been on the same wide pavement. Very neat, very clean, and everything is going very well so far. So you can see there's a lot of developments happening here. So any kind of misconceptions that some viewers may have in regards to some of the videos they've seen on my channel do be aware that Tanzania offers the best of both you can have that rural village life if you like and you can have that modern standard life with highways and pavements and all of that if you also like as well different people value different things and depending on what your needs are when you travel or visit it doesn't have to be for living, but when you visit, you can enjoy best of both. So behind the white building you're seeing and the petrol station, those are all apartments as well. So we've kind of moved from Magomeni, we're coming up to Kagera now, but it's literally one road, so all, all those areas are interlinked. And mind you, all your regular, you know, your shops, there's pharmacies available, there's all of that available when you come here. School has reopened here in Tanzania, so I've I've noticed a lot of school children on the in the bajajis and walking around. I'm sure you probably have noticed this so far while we've been filming. And you see at night, guys, you see those uh, tall lights you're seeing there. Those tall lights. This whole highway is well lit at night you know so even when you're walking here at night the area is well lit 
the highway is well lit so these are positive aspects about the place These are various uh, women garments here, which are worn a lot by the women here in Tanzania. And you have shops that cater to the needs of the women. And you can find that in this area as well. Okay guys, I'm going to end this vlog right here. I just wanted to give you a little idea of how the area looks, some of the developments that are happening in the area. So I do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for watching. I th trust that you have enjoyed today's episode. Mwenyezi Mungu akubariki kwa hereni. Tutaonana baadaye.